Hey everyone, I hope you guys are enjoying Monster Hunter Rise or Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak and whichever platform you're choosing to play it on. And today I wanted to take a little bit of a chance to talk a little bit more regarding Monster Hunter Now as the closed beta is now currently live. I've seen a lot of people wondering just how come there hasn't actually been any shared information uh, regarding Monster Hunter Now, whether it is screenshots, which monsters are uh, going to be part of the game, some gameplay information or anything along those lines. And that is because Niantic has made it a point to be very diligent about leaks of any kind regarding the closed beta status. Uh, for that, they basically took to social media just yesterday morning or here uh, in the middle of the night uh, here in North America. And they put out a series of tweets uh, confirming uh, that they are being very diligent about that. We're going to be going over that in a second. However, that does not change the fact that people have been posting images regardless. And we have seen some details that we're going to be going over at the back end of the video. Uh, so first and foremost, they just simply posted originally, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below uh, for all of this information. They simply said originally uh, that thank you all hunters who registered for the closed beta test. Uh, we have sent out information to all of you who will be participating starting today. Now, one of the things that, of course, in order for you to be able to have access to the closed beta, you needed to have registered at Monster Hunter. Uh, now.com link in the description below if you didn't necessarily do that although i'm not sure if they're taking uh, applications at this point in time any longer with that said all you pretty much needed to do was provide them very basic information and an email and then they would go ahead and email you the details now a lot of players have already reported receiving their invitations but remember there were only 10,000 invitations being sent out I believe is worldwide, not even just per region, but worldwide. They didn't make that very clear. Uh, so at the end of the day, not only are there NDAs preventing people from sharing information, but of course that doesn't really stop everyone from doing that. But at the same time, there weren't really that many invitations sent out to begin with. So for example, as a content creator myself, I would love to be able to have access to it. So when it is, so when Capcom does allow content creators to talk about it, I would have had more information to share. However, I personally did not get an invite, but I know one other person that did. So it's one of those things where like uh, information is being fed to me from another person, but it's not necessarily firsthand experience on my end. Uh, subsequently, they did also share another uh, post where they simply said, we have received a lot of applications and we are very sorry that we cannot guide or allow everyone due to the limit number of people uh, being allowed in. Uh, we are planning to send more information subsequently after tomorrow, so please wait for future information. Now, it does make it sound like they might expand the closed beta at the very least in Japan. We don't necessarily know again if this means worldwide uh, where more people are going to be allowed in. But of course, at the very least, uh, more information is going to be coming probably the day after this video goes live. In their last post, and this, this, this was a trio of posts that they shared, they simply mentioned that please note that all information provided in this beta test, such as game screens, are prohibited from being disclosed to the general public, as stated in the application for Niantic's Terms of Service NDA. They, of course, link back to the application page, Terms of Service, and all of that. So if you don't want your, basically, not only your access to be limited, which, of course, uh, in typical uh, beta access stuff, you have numbers appearing on the screen being overlaid, which kind of lets them people, uh, lets Niantic know, and also lets anyone watching the video know, uh, your number, therefore, they would be able to see if that footage is kind of being circulated around. Uh, chances are they'll nuke that account relatively very fast right away. That's just one of those typical things that you see happen all the time. But it shouldn't come to too much of a surprise that they're being diligent about that since they haven't necessarily revealed pretty much early data for the game. However, Japanese players have already taken to social media and done exactly what we would have expected them to do and started posting images from the email invitation. So one of the first ones that we do get to see is just pretty much the invitation email that they were sent um, to Gmail, I believe, through their phone. And it just simply says that you have been invited to the Monster Hunter Now uh, closed beta. Um, you know, check the information below for more details. Of course, they didn't show what that rest of the information is. They do also showcase a couple of screenshots uh, taken from their mobile device 
for the Monster Hunter Now, um, the, I, I guess the Android Store app version of it. I believe that's what that is, uh, where it says that it's being instantly downloaded. You see the little bar filling up on the upper left side where the icon is. You have an English version of the icon as well. That says Niantic Inc. has invited you to test Monster Hunter Now. Monster Hunter Now by Niantic Inc. for iOS. That is the iOS version of the game with the icon there. And the last image as well is just, you know, when the game is like loading or whatever um, from the like launcher, I believe is what that image is. So, you know, and it has like the code as well there. So probably not a good idea to be showcasing that code unless that is actually the app number code for that specific app. So at the end of the day, uh, if you have been wondering, and I know I've seen a lot of people wondering just what is going on uh, with this, how come there's no data regarding the game? And that is because people are under NDA. They're not necessarily willing to risk it at the very least on day one, if you're in trunk, especially since of course it is a Pokemon Go style game. So the more you explore it, the more you're gonna be able to unlock, the more you know things you're gonna be able to see. And all the early stuff from that we know is just a lot of Jagras, a lot of Kulu Yakus, you know, simple stuff like that. The most likely the limited content that we are, a lot of players are gonna be experiencing is the Rathalos battle itself, and that's about it. We don't expect them to get full access to the game. That is just something they wouldn't necessarily do until it goes live. Now, one of the things that I've also seen a lot of people wonder is like the monster count. I did specifically make a video talking about uh, that there were six monsters revealed at the time. A couple of other people pointed out that there was an Anjanath armor showcase in the original screenshots, and then there was a Legiana showcase in the original art, but it was kind of like hidden behind a building type of a thing. So they were teasing another set of monsters, but they didn't necessarily showcase them. They did show Kuluyaku. They did show um, Great Jagras, which I believe also received the original introduction image. There was also a few icons for Puke Puke, and I believe an image for Puke Puke as well. And lastly, of course, Rathalos itself, which is showcased fully in the original trailer reveal. So that is the number of monster count that we have seen so far. Things of like post launch content, paid, you know, pay for win tactics or stuff like that. We haven't seen any of that. Of course, they would try to minimize that even even and I would say this, even if you do see a lot of positive stuff from the beta, which we do expect them to maybe open up after a few days, maybe the 27th or the 28th, maybe by the end of the week, they would actually allow some people to share some content behind the closed beta. One of the things that we shouldn't necessarily expect is that they are going to showcase their entire full hand when it comes to just paid content or stuff like paid armors or stuff like that. They're probably going to wait until, you know, later into the cycle of information before they start introducing paid mechanics or paid DLC or paid to win tactics or anything along those lines. It is gotcha. It is a Pokemon Go type game. So there's plenty of numbers and gotcha mechanics that you're going to be dealing with, but that is kind of built in as a given. But that's currently the information that we have regarding the open beta. If you didn't necessarily get, you know, the invitation, maybe check your email again, just in case if what if you did apply and you haven't checked your email, maybe go ahead and do that so you can get some information on whether it is you did get invited or not. I certainly hope that you did. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.